Hello, I'm RFX Mars, and I'm doing a video rebuttal on the debunkers who are claiming that what you're seeing in this UFO photo, there's two more photos I'm going to show you. Uh, what the debunkers are claiming is that we're seeing the reflection of a cell, cell phone, a Galaxy, Samsung Galaxy something or other. I'm really not interested in their explanation. Now, in part one, I'm going to show you how absurd it is what we're being told. And then in part two, I'll demonstrate how absurd it is. I was in my car, and I was parked for safety. And I attempted to duplicate what they're claiming this thing is. And it's just absurd. You can't do it. So here we go. A lot of you people don't like my voice, but bear with me. Because you, this is information you're not going to get anywhere else. Another alleged UFO sighting near Charlotte has appeared on Facebook. And in this case, it was posted by a husband and father who says he doesn't necessarily believe in UFOs. Havion Hill... 35 of Kings Mountain, North Carolina, said so he took several photos of the object during a storm on the night of August 18th as he drove on US 74 southwest of Charlotte. The image, images feature something square hovering above the tree line with its edges fringed in lights. He told the Charlotte observer the craft frightened him to the point and he didn't want to sleep, couldn't sleep that night. I was on my way home with my wife on the speakerphone, and it looked like there was a tornado coming, so I tried to take a picture of the clouds for my wife, says Hill. But then I saw something that wasn't normal, and I was like, oh my god, what is that? I started trying to take as many pictures of it as possible while I was driving, which Mr. Hill is a bad idea. Uh... You need to keep your eyes on the road. Anyway, Hill says he pulled over at the next exit to try and get video, but the aircraft had vanished. Heavy rain followed instantly, he said. So here you can see the second picture. We'll get to the pictures. Let me uh, put them on uh, my site, my computer, so I can scrutinize them. Frankly, I haven't found anything. Uh, Hill says it was possible it was a military craft. I seriously doubt it, Mr. Hill. And they're mentioning the TR-3B, which is, doesn't exist officially, but it's some high-tech craft that they think has, uh, what do you call uh, anti-gravity. Okay, now in part two, I'm just going to stitch it on, that video part's already done, so I'll stitch it on to this. Now we're going to take a look at the pictures. Okay, this photo was taken independently by another man on Facebook, he posted on the same uh, page as what Brandon Crank did. Brandon Crank is his name, actually. Sorry about that. Uh, let's have you on. He'll did. So this is Brandon Crank's photo. So we're going to zoom right in and see if we can learn anything. Not a lot to learn here, other than it appears to be some kind of a craft. Uh, some of the rain on the windshield appears to have blotted out some parts of it, which means it can't be a reflection. It's not a reflection anyway. You look at this, it's just an absurd explanation. But the official explanation is it's a cell phone, believe it or not. Like I said, part two will deal with that. All right, this is one of the pictures from uh, Havian Hill. Remember, he's driving down the interstate, 
I'm taking pictures while I'm driving is a dangerous thing to do. But just for the record, it does look like he's taking a picture from the driver's side. I'm going to comment on that in a minute. Same thing again. As for what it is, well, it's unidentified, so it's a UFO. An unidentified flying object. Same thing again, this is very similar to what I saw in 2013, above Monroe County. I think mine was a little different, but not too different. Could have been because I could only glance at it, I had to keep my eyes on the road. Now we'll take a look at the third picture. Okay, very similar here to Brandon Crank's photo, although this one has a pink tinge to it. And again, there may be stuff in the way of it. It's hard to tell exactly what we're seeing. And again, very similar to what I saw over Monroe County, New York, on March 6, 2013. I'm not making this up, and I won't back down. I don't care how many people tell me I saw an airplane, I didn't see an airplane. I'm not buying into that, I'm not going to change my story, I'm not going to allow anyone to revise my history on me. Now, let's uh, take a little quiz here. These pictures were clearly taken from the driver's position. So here's your quiz. How many hands does the average driver have? Well, two is the obvious answer. How many hands would it take to hold up a cell phone? The answer is one. How many hands would it take to hold up a camera? The answer is one. Are you going to tell me that this guy was driving down the road uh, with no hands on the wheels? On the wheel? I don't think so. Most people don't have three hands. And there are two different guys who are driving like this. This thing's way off to the right. There's just no way. They're making an absurd claim that this is a cell phone. When that falls apart, they're just going to say it's an inside reflection, case closed, baloney. Two different guys photographed the same thing, two different guys with different cars. Absurd and ridiculous. No, it's not. A cell phone. No, it's not an inside reflection. I'll take another quick uh, glance at this close up. Once again, I can't tell that much about it. But it's not a reflection and it's not inside the cabin of the car. Not to mention the fact that you don't have a lot of pink reflections pink things in the car that, that give off light. In other words, uh, generally the display is amber or green, blue, that type of thing. Or red if you're uh, boned and in trouble somehow. But you don't generally see a lot of pink. It's just the way it is. Absurd and ridiculous. So apparently this guy watched that thing for a while. Now, there is no way that you're going to hold up. I'm sorry, I'm tired of this. There's no way you're going to hold up a camera in one hand, a cell phone in the other, and drive at the same time and fake a UFO. 
That's not going to happen, folks. And there's no evidence of any hand holding it either. When I hold up my model, my uh, own cell phone, you'll see how it reflected off my hand. It was tough doing this when I was sitting there parked. So I had both hands free. And I couldn't come anywhere near what you're seeing here. No way, no chance, no how. Now, we're going to switch to the video which I shot last night for the remainder of this video. Please be patient with me. Be patient with my voice. If you don't like it, I can't change it, so that's the way it is. Hello, I'm on Effects of Mars. And what you're seeing is inside of my car. Uh, there's been this UFO, and I'm going to go over it separately. The UFO that was photographed twice by a gentleman in uh, North Carolina. And what we're being told is that it's a cell phone. It's not a UFO at all. It's a square, square object. So, we're going to test that right now. I've already tested it. I'm going to hold up my cell phone. Just for the record, I'm not driving. This guy was supposedly driving and holding up a cell phone and photographing things. Sorry, it's not going to happen. I'm safely parked, so you don't have to worry about that. So... What we're doing here is we're going to see if this matches it's is a BIH just to pick it up. And my cell phone isn't a Samsung Galaxy, it's a little more primitive, but uh I'll do the trick. This is a cell phone. It's actually facing. So I'm told. We're told this is a cell phone that's being photographed on edge. As you see, you're not getting much of anything in the way of. I have to keep clicking it to get it on. This is what you would see if this was a cell phone. If you turn it on edge, I'm going to look right at the cell phone. We're looking at it on edge. And it's no longer reflected. You can see my finger holding it. You don't see any fingers holding the cell phone near the two photos. There isn't any cell phone. It's utterly ludicrous. And I'm holding it right up to the camera here. If you take it and you put it right up against the glass, this is kind of effect you're going to get. So, we're going to uh, test next. We're going to test uh, what if we have it right at the edge. This is what you're going to get, which is virtually nothing. Well, actually... Actually, the reflection was up there. But notice one thing. Uh, you see a little glare around it? That's because the light from the cell phone is actually laying up the windshield, of course. bottom line here is no. Folks, I'll turn on the light uh, here, talk about this for a minute. Alright, the bottom line is, folks, the answer is no. They're telling us that this is a cell phone. And somebody's holding it up and he's photographing it. No. 
It just won't work. I tried duplicating it using mine. Now, I don't have a Samsung phone that's some other brand. Uh, Alcatel. It's track phone. But the answer is no. You cannot fake something like that that easily. Let's see what it uh, sees when I'm looking at the interior light there. Isn't that interesting? So no, and I'm using a fairly high grade video camera. Which is running out of juice, so I'm going to have to uh, plug it in here real shortly, or it's just going to quit on me. You get the point. No way, no chance, no how. This was not a cell phone that you've seen. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.